Markle recently wore a black striped dress that got the internet a buzz. Many are saying it was a horrendous dress. Now, while I agree with some of that, what I thought was most interesting is how much her dress reminded me of one from Crown Princess Victoria. And it got me on a kick to where I thought today would be our first rendition of Who Wore It? better because believe it or not royals have actually worn the same thing several times or the same thing as celebrities and so I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to look at some of Meghan Markle's outfits both before she was a royal and as a royal and compare them to outfits other royals have worn now some of these royals have worn the same outfit before sometimes after and so we will just examine some of these today yes I probably won't capture everything but I got I think a pretty good sample so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and so our first one we're talking about of course is the one that Megan recently wore to her quote-unquote birthday dinner recently in Montecito she wore this black and white block striped dress because these stripes are very very big and it's I mean it's a tight tube style dress so it's nice it's not great uh, it could be better. And then I also thought of Crown Princess Victoria's white and black striped dress. This is the only other dress I can think of that I've seen like this. So Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden wore this to Queen Marguerite of Denmark's 70th birthday celebrations. And I've honestly always loved this dress. I've always had a soft spot for it. I thought she looked fabulous in it. I thought it fit her really well. And even though stripes can add pounds to you, I thought this dress overall just fit her wonderfully and as many have pointed out crown princess victoria's dress has a great advantage over megan's because the stripes on this dress are much more carefully lined to emphasize women's attributes and de-emphasize their potential flaws so when it comes to victoria's dress they have a thin black stripe at the top which i think is really great accent and then white around the bust line white magnifies but black where megan's dress hits the bust line minimizes so you really do want to maximize your bust area while minimizing your hips areas potentially or your stomach so in victoria's dress it does that it puts obviously white around the bust line and then at the waist we get more black and then as the dress flows out it has a bit of an a-line skirt there so it flares out which i think is really really fabulous and the stripes also get bigger in size as the dress goes down i've Again, always thought this dress was super flattering on her. Yes, it is very different. Some people really don't like it. I've always really liked it. And then you have Megan's dress. It's sort of beach casual. I think the dress actually looks maybe a bit better with the sweater, which has the same stripe pattern on it that you can wear with it. I think that makes the dress look a smidge better. But honestly, I don't really like how Megan styled this. I think that's always been Megan's severe flaw when it comes to fashion is that she can't style things well. And I don't like her bag. I don't really don't like the shoes. I think honestly, the shoes really ruin it for me. I just don't like them at all. Yeah, it's just not not a great look there because her feet aren't her best feature. <laughs> So I, I, those shoes, I think, kind of magnify that. I think especially because this restaurant is really, really nice. And the woman next to her looks like she's wearing a nice fit and flare dress. I think it would have been better if Megan wore a more casual dress like this to wear it with some fun, like, sun sandals or something instead of the lame flat she has there. So overall, I think the look for Megan is a miss. And I have to give it to Victoria here. I thought she looked smashing. And yes, these dresses are worn to two different occasions, two different styles in a lot of ways. But hey, they are somewhat similar. So, so I just wanted to point that out there. The next one we have is a really big blast from the past. And this is an outfit that Diana, the Princess of Wales, wore while pregnant, and then Meghan wore something exceptionally similar while also pregnant. The, the fabric's similar. The color, of course, is the same. The accents are slightly different because in the original, the accents are dark green while Meghan's are black. Meghan's wearing an Erdem outfit. And honestly, I mean, I'm not really a fan of either of them, but you, you got to give it to Meghan. She really loves to copy, and she doesn't really have a great sense of of individual style in a lot of ways because she just sort of copies what other people have done so this dress i mean it's it's fine this coat dress is just a little ridiculous for a pregnant woman i feel like especially for one we've never seen again i'm sure it was custom made 
So it seems just a little ridiculous to have this super nice custom-made maternity dress, but Megan did that quite a bit. I couldn't really get a full look of Diana's coat dress, but I do think she looks lovely there, but I don't think I really have a winner here because I'm not really a fan of either. But you guys, let me know in the comments who you think looks better there. All right, next, we have Megan in this white suit at the Invictus Games. I have a lot of strong feelings to say about this. And then we have Catherine in a similar suit from Alexander McQueen. Okay, so Megan's suit. Suits are supposed to slim you. This one adds 20 pounds to her. I'm sorry, it just does. The double-breasted, the way the suit hits her, how boxy it is. This suit does literally nothing for Meghan Markle. Nothing. It adds 20 pounds to her. It's awful. I don't know how she thought this was looked good. But meanwhile, Catherine's looks professional. It looks effortless. It looks slimming. And while Catherine is very slim, absolutely, but you don't want any outfit to ever add 20 pounds to you. And the suit in Megan's instance, it hits at the widest part of her body, emphasizing it, and it clings to the widest part of her body. So I just think, look at that, and I go, what in the world were you thinking when you walked out of the hotel and you're like, you know, you got a big swagger, and I'm just looking at you going, that that suit makes you look so fat. I'm sorry, not to say I'm not in the greatest shape either. Totally admit that, but it literally adds 20 pounds to her. And I mean, she was still carrying a bit of baby weight because she really did struggle to lose it. But the emphasis of fashion should always be to slim you rather than to add pounds to you. And this suit definitely added about 20 pounds to Megan. She should have tossed that thing in the trash 100%. Okay, next week comparison we have, and this one is quite different. We have Catherine in her asymmetrical red suit versus Megan in her red outfit that she wore at the One Young Worlds Summit or whatever it was. So Megan's outfit, it doesn't have a blazer, but has a similar silhouette in that it's all red. It's a bit of a suit pant with a blouse and... I think when I first saw Catherine in her asymmetrical blazer suit in red with Alexander McQueen, I thought, where has that suit been for Catherine her whole royal career? It looks utterly fabulous. It is fabulous. It just looks smashing on her. She looked amazing in it. She wore again to the coronation concert. And I thought Catherine looked amazing in that. The color was amazing and everything. Megan in this outfit, I mean, red is not a bad color for her, but at the same time, what is with that weird scarf thing that goes down to her knee? <laughs> Just looks weird. I don't think it's a particularly flattering outfit. I don't think it does anything for her in terms of adding shape. What Megan really struggles with is that she doesn't really have a great shape. She has a very boxy midsection and she doesn't really have a waist. And so creating a waist is really a struggle for her. But I think she always almost emphasizes that overly much, that she almost always wears an outfit that emphasizes how wide her waist is and how she really doesn't have any of that. When it comes to defining hourglass shape, it usually means that your bust line and your hips are about the same width. Meanwhile, your waist is really, really tiny. Megan doesn't really have a tiny waist. Basically, her shoulders to her hips, all of that is basically one straight line. There's not a lot of definition there. And she has really long, very, very thin legs. And so she just has sort of a strange shape. So I admit it is really hard to dresser, but I thought she did a better job before becoming a royal. And this suit, I don't think, did her any favors here. Okay, now we have another look, this time between Meghan Markle and Queen Letizia of Spain. And Meghan wore this long, like, uh, they're not really, maybe pompadour, I don't know what they are. These really, really long, ugly pants with this tank top which goes a bit too high and is unflattering on her and messy bun, of course. And Letizia wore something very similar, long pants, the tank top shirt that's very, very similar. Then she has her hair down. So I have to say, I think Queen Letizia, I loved her look, especially that little tuck that she did of her tank sweater. I thought that really worked well for her. It gave her outfit, which was all beige, just a little bit more interest. And I just thought it was really, really well done. I loved it. I thought she looked smashing in it. She's also tall. She, it doesn't seem like it because she's so tiny, but 
She's about 5'7", and so she really can pull off a length like that and make it look really statuesque, in addition to the fact that she's just really tiny, and she has, I think, a bit more of an hourglass figure than Meghan Markle does. Again, Meghan Markle is coming into the issue where she doesn't have a waist, and her torso is very, very short. She has, again, sort of strange proportions, so I think it's just hard to dress her. And so the pants just look ridiculous ridiculous on her. They almost seem like they go up to her boobs. It's just really, really weird. And what I noticed as well with this tank is from the side, it's just not that flattering on her because she's not really wearing a bra. And, you know, the older you get, things tend to sag a bit and it just doesn't look great from the side. I've even noticed this with people before as well. It's like you got to be kind of careful how in your shirt goes because it could emphasize an area you don't really want to emphasize that you may need to camouflage a bit. I think Queen Letizia, she is in absolutely fabulous shape. She just knocked it out of the park. And she's a decade older than Meghan Markle and definitely showed her up in that outfit. Again, one of my favorites from Letizia. I love the plainness of it, yet at the same time, she also dressed it up quite a bit. Okay, next one we'll look at is another Catherine and Megan outfit. And this one, I'm not sure who the designer is, but this one of Megan. Then we have another one of Catherine, the Princess of Wales in Temporally London. I think for both of these, maybe Jenny Packham for one. So both Temporally London and Jenny Packham could be between these two dresses. Honestly, I don't like either of those dresses on Catherine, but let's look at the Temporally London one that's a little bit similar to Megan's. And this dress on Catherine, I will say, I just don't think it's the best. It just doesn't seem to have a great fit, but it's okay. It looks it looks good. I like the red accent there for Catherine, which with the clutch, I thought that was pretty good. This dress of Megan's, I don't know who made it, but it just seems to fit her terribly. Like the bust area on it is weird. And the stomach area, it looks like in the waist, it looks way, way, way too tight. And it looks, the construction of it from the sides looks just horrendous. It's just really bad. I don't know who made this. It just doesn't look, doesn't look great at all. So in this sense, it's definitely 100% have to give it to Catherine. Obviously, this could be something where Megan had very little options here, not blaming her, but the construction of this dress just looks overall very, very poor. And it just doesn't seem to fit Megan well at all. Okay, next one, and this will be a bit of a controversial choice, I think. So it's Catherine in a preen dress and Megan also in a red dress that's somewhat similar. Megan's going into the Today Show in New York City, and Catherine was on tour in Canada. So I like both of these dresses, but I do have to give a little bit of leg to Megan here. This is actually one of the times she actually dressed really well. And I mean, it's not... Super greatly styled, but at least it looks it looks good. And Catherine's dress, I just really, really like it. But I also feel like it emphasizes her shoulders in sort of a weird way. That's always been my thought about the red dress because there's a part of me that always loves Catherine in that dress. And then I'm like, oh. So I've always loved it. Think it's great, but may give a slight edge to Megan there. I don't know the designer of her dress. I tried to look, but I thought since most of these, I don't pick <laughs> Megan, I thought I should give her a little bit of like one thing where I thought, ah, well, you did a little bit better there. Of course, since of being a royal, it feels like everything has gone way, way, way downhill. Okay, so this is an interesting comparison as well. This is also Catherine on tour in Canada. And we have Megan participating in her first Christmas with the royals. And this is a Centlar coat. It's made in Canada. And... The coat itself is not my issue here with either of them. Both the coats are fine. My thing is how they were tied. And I think this emphasizes why Megan always looks so stinking sloppy the vast majority of the time she was a royal because the tie here is just messy. It's not like a stylish messy for Megan. It just looks messy. Like she tied and was like, oh, these, these little tails here, they're too long. Let me tuck them back into my coat. And so it gave it all an overall messy look. And Megan really struggled with this. Pretty much every outfit she had, she looked messy in. And so I think 
that just didn't really work well. And then you compare it to Catherine's and it's just Catherine has a simple tie and it looks so much more elegant, so much simpler. And it's, it's possible she maybe had a safety pin in there to make sure this simple tie didn't come apart. But I thought it looks so much better than Megan trying to do some sort of fancy tie thing. And it just made her look sloppy. Megan did a lot of wrap coats and they just didn't work well because I think if you're not careful, a wrap coat can tend to look sloppy. And so that was something Megan really struggled with. Okay, next we have Megan's Diane von Furstenberg lace dress versus Catherine's. Both will talk about the Dolce & Gabbana lace dress and the actual Diane von Furstenberg lace dress that Catherine wore. Okay, so for Megan's, I don't really have too many things to say about this. I kind of hate her makeup here. I don't think it's her best makeup look. And the dress isn't bad. It's short, but also, you know, emphasizes again that she doesn't really have a waist. So she just does struggle with that. I think that would have dress would have looked a bit better maybe if she could define the waist a bit more. That's my only thought there. She did kind of do it with the pose. <laughs> she tried to do it with the pose. And then we have Catherine's lace dress. The first one is the Dolce & Gabbana one. She wore to the Remembrance Service. She wore a couple of these lace dresses from Dolce & Gabbana. And I do like it. I think it's pretty. I mean, it's just nothing too much to talk about, really. And then she also wore a long lace dress by Diane von Furstenberg. And if you don't know, von Furstenberg is actually a royal title. She was once a princess, Diane von Furstenberg, until she divorced her husband, so Kate's dress, so here it looks very, very nice and elegant. It's a longer version of the lace dress. I think it looks good. It's, I mean, it's nothing again, super stand out-ish, but I think they both look pretty good here. And Megan, it's again, it's not too bad, but it's not a totally a great look either. And we also have a special shout out to Catherine Moore and Erdem dress during her first Canada tour way back in the day. Okay, next we're just talk about shoes. And we'll talk about the Aquazura bow tie pumps that both Catherine and Megan have now. So Megan started with it. She debuted these as a royal. And honestly, I didn't totally get the bow because it kind of looks like a butterfly. It kind of looks like a bow. I'm still iffy on it, to be honest, but I think they were fine. And Catherine started to dip into Aquazura after Megan. And I can't help but wonder if maybe Catherine was a little bit inspired by Megan. Honestly, I like a lot of what Aquazura does. And I will say, since I think Megan entered the picture, Catherine has definitely gotten more creative with her shoe choices. So maybe Megan inspired that? Probably not. But I am super excited to see Catherine explore more in shoes and do something a little bit different. And she was very much dedicated, especially the first years of her marriage, to a uniform. She had her sledge pumps. She wore a couple other ones as well, but she had those sledge pumps platform pumps by LK Bennett that she wore to every single engagement. I've been working on a video about her shoes, and trust me, those were there all the time. And then about by 2016, she had started to dip into GMV until Rossi. And then we saw a lot more colors. We saw a lot more playfulness in the shoes, which I'm really, really excited about for a long time because Catherine always wore, it was just plain pumps. And then she had a couple other things she wore for like different things like sandals and stuff and tennis shoes. So she had a couple other options and boots, of course, as well. But when it comes to pumps, Catherine was very, very you could say uncreative in that way, but she has started to dip into more colors, more fun things, and so I'm excited. So I think both of the ladies look good in those Aqua Zura pumps. Okay, next one we'll talk about before the very end one. So we'll compare. Megan has a bit of a blue wrap dress she wore one time. This was about in 2016. She wore it at an event in Toronto. It was that sapphire blue. Megan was really yucking it up for the camera there, really trying to strike a sexy pose. She was really working that with her friend Jessica Mulroney. But it's hard not to make the, a bit of a comparison to Catherine's infamous 
engagement dress from Issa London. Catherine knocked it out of the park when it came to her engagement dress. That was the perfect color, a great dress. I will have a whole video where I'll go over that dress because I actually have an Issa London wrap dress from way back in the day. It's a different color, but it's very, very similar. I will tell you right now, if you have any flaw, any bodily flaw, that dress will magnify it. If you're not stick skinny like Catherine, you probably won't look good in that dress because I've worn it and it's not but I think Catherine looks totally smashing in that dress. And so when you compare the two, there's really no comparison there. Although I will say Megan's is very different. It's it's more of a tie. It doesn't have sleeves, but it does have a bit of that wrap element. So I thought I would do a little bit of comparison there, but I still think when it comes to wrap dresses, I think Catherine's got the upper hand there. Okay, finally, 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 we get to our final comparison. And this one to me, oh, I forgot one. So we have another comparison to think about, and that is Catherine and Megan, both in blue one-shoulder gowns. Catherine wore hers while she was played part of a piano solo for the Eurovision event, which was happening in Liverpool at the time. And Catherine looks fabulous how they laid that dress out. Oh, it just gave me chills. And then we also have Megan in a similar blue one-shoulder gown when she accepted the NAACP award for no real reason other than the fact that she married Prince Harry and the sole reason she got that award. So comparing the two dresses, obviously they are rather different, but the color is very much the same. But what always bugged me about Megan's dress is that I always felt like it was very promy. It dipped almost too much into that aquamarine shade or that deep blue shade. And so it just came off as a little bit, especially with the satin, as if she was wearing that to senior prom. And I never liked that dress. I thought the, the shoulder thing off the side looked a little silly. And I just didn't think it looked great. It wasn't all that flattering. Just ugh, didn't really care for that at all. But Catherine's dress looked fabulous. We haven't seen her standing in it. She looks really good in one shoulder. So I'm sure she looks great. And then I just thought the fanning of the dress around the piano. She showed that dress off in such a magnificent way. And the bright blue against the bright red of the room. Oh, it was amazing. Okay, my final comparison. Because this one to me, I'm like, I think of Megan. I'm like, what were you thinking here? Were, what were you thinking? Because you knew your sister-in-law just wore this dress and looked unbelievably smashing in it. And her behind caught the world on fire. And I'm sorry, but yours did not here. You can almost feel that Megan was like, well, maybe if I wear the similar dress, everybody will say the same thing about me. And nope, 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 nope. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. So what I am talking about is Catherine's Top Gun dress. And this thing was from Roland Moret. Fit her like a glove. She looked unbelievable in certain angles from it. And also some pictures where she didn't look so great because it kind of emphasized again how much she works out and her arm muscles were kind of standing out in a weird way. But from behind, from behind, Catherine is fierce, man. From behind, oh my gosh, that booty is is unbelievable. She looks absolutely smashing in it. There's only a few women that could pull off a dress that that's that is that tight. I'm not even sure she could sit down in it, to be honest. But it looked fabulous. The earrings were great. The hair was great. And she just captured everybody's attention. And what does Megan do? Megan wears a very similar jumpsuit. This one is by Gabrielle Hurst. Gabriella Hurst. And she wore this jumpsuit to a dinner. She was trying to be super coy about it. She was like super excited. And then you see the back. And the back, I'm sorry, looks terrible. You knew your sister-in-law had worn something very similar. And her behind looked fabulous. That was like the behind to envy all behinds. That's it. That like encourages you to go out and do squats. And I'm sorry, but Megan has a broad back. And this jumpsuit, all it did was emphasize it. And I'm sorry, Meghan Markle, but your behind cannot compare to Catherine's. So why in the world are you wearing a jumpsuit that is so, so similar to your sister-in-law? It looks like you were trying to capture the same level of attention and the same just admiration for shape. I'm sorry, it's just not there. I just didn't think this fit you well. Especially from behind, it's it's no comparison to Catherine. It's really not. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like that's what Megan was going for. I can't imagine trying to wear that dress from Catherine. It is so fitted. It looks so great. I'm not even sure if she could sit down and then watch the movie. I guess she could. But she looked absolutely fabulous in it. You could just tell, especially from the back, this woman works out amazingly well. And Megan, it just wasn't great. And I'm just not sure why she decided to wear a very, very similar jumpsuit a month and a half after her sister-in-law wowed the world. I'm like, what were you thinking? <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think of these looks. Let me know who you think won. Obviously, I didn't really give Megan any wins here except for sort of one. But let me know if you think I am wrong. Who do you think wore it better? We will be doing more of these, comparing other worlds to celebrities, each other, all these sorts of things. Because there's sometimes where... I think it was Maxima and Queen Matilda. They go to the same designer. And at one point, they wore incredibly similar outfits, and they do share the same outfits. So it is kind of funny to see, guys. So I appreciate you watching so much. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Bye.